Hey there everyone and welcome to this new series, Far Cry 6. Uh, this is actually my first Far Cry game. I've um, seen people play it. Uh, it's had a long history as a franchise and um, I've just never been a part of it. I've been more of a Assassin's Creed guy, but this is the time to change that now. So Far Cry 6 is the very first game that I'm going to get into. I've heard it's great and action packed. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Anton Castillo. Very nice. All right. My true Yarns. I stand before you armed with truth. For too long, our country was stolen by politicians. But you elected a vision, a cure, a road to paradise. Viviro, created by our own brilliant scientists. The most effective treatment for cancer the world has ever seen. Grown within our precious tobacco. Modified with the purest fertilizer, Viviro is the key to rebuild paradise. But our paradise comes at a cost. This our enemies will never understand. Yara did not elect me to do what's easy, but to do what's right. Okay. And so, with renewed focus, I must extend the draft to paradise. True Yarans from across our island Chosen to produce enough Viviro to heal the world and save our country. These lucky Yarans will be chosen by random lottery. Even my own son Diego. Okay. Hey Danny. And like a true Yaran, he Turn will that shit off. With a smile on his face. Precisamente. Exactly what Castillo wants. Enough politics, Lita. You think the draft is only taking true Yarans? It's the outcasts, the poor, orphans like us. He's bringing slavery back from the dead. In Yara, you can't run from this. Hang on, you ditched us. Ran off to the jungle with a bunch of guerrillas. Libertad. Hmm? And you're back here to recruit for Clara Garcia's local crusade? Come on, this is our big goodbye. Danny, fucking say something. All right. Here we go. Oh, we get to choose. Let's be Danny. Not that there's a difference, but let's see it. They got my name wrong. Danny, you could help Libertad. You're trained. It would have been career military if you weren't such a fuck up. <laughs> Just come with us, Lita. Hi. You never fucking listen, Danny. Hey, time to go. Boss waiting. He drinks in Mexico. Dinner in Miami. Coño! Fucking blackout. Too big for a blackout. You fucking pack it? Oh yeah! What's going on? Fin del mundo! Raptis must report for duty. You will join us to rebuild paradise. What the fuck? Draftees must report oh. for duty. You will join us to reveal paradise. Alejo, get down! Draftees must report for duty. Alejo, get down! You will join Fuck us to reveal paradise. Fuck Castillo! Alejo! No, no. Draftees must report for duty. Okay. That escalated quickly. We have to go. Now! Check the roof up now! Draftees must report for You're coming. Promise me, Lita. See. Come on, Danny. All right, come on, let's go. Stay close, Lita. We have to get to the port. Okay, Danny. When we get to the army, we say goodbye to Alejo. I promise. Open up. All these. Here. All these games are so 
immersive right out of the gate. It feels like... Like, games are just getting better than movies now. It's crazy how uh, they've evolved so quickly. Alright, let's get out of here. This way. When in doubt, follow the objective. Okay. Let me guess, they're right here. Whoa. Come on, we gotta move. Where are we even going? Say so, I'm just gonna keep going. That's a lot of soldiers, Rita. So we take the source. Well, hopefully they won't see me. Anybody here? Go, 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 go. I don't even see where I'm going. Oh, there we go. Alright. This feels like a horror game all of a sudden. But here we go. Time to time to rush. From when we were kids. Where'd the flashlight go? So much blood. Okay. Oh, nice. Good. That boat's not going to wait for us. Shit. Get it. Let's go. Let's go. Jump. Stay with me, Lita. Gotta say, good plot so far. Let's keep going. So is Dania my real name or did I just get a passport from nowhere? Crazy. I love the first person uh, view too. Can I get a weapon or anything? No weapons yet, all right. Please, we have to get on that boat. Abuela, what the hell am I gonna do with baseball cards? Do you have any idea what these are worth? Let us through. Oh, yeah. Marco, always making new friends. Danny, you're late. Where's Alejo? Give up his ticket. For his family. Bullshit. Alejo is an orphan. Alejo's not going anywhere anymore. Come on, Marco. Let them on. Vamos. Good man. Get on the boxing gal. Get them on. Gracias. What a beginning. Don't worry about it, Chimaco. Here. That's all I've got. This isn't right, Danny. 
We should be fighting, not running to the Yankees. Alejo gave you a fucking gift, Lita. We survive. Same as the orphanage, same as the academy. What's that? No, no, this is a piece of boat. You will, no, no! <laughs> How did he even get to them? What? How did he even... This guy is everywhere. Before he was El Presidente, me papa loved to fish. We would go out on a boat, just like this. And we would catch the fish, and then... Release them. He would say it's not always about your stomach, mio. It's about the challenge. Except when he caught a big, fat, juicy marlin. <laughs> he was too proud to let that fish go. Sick, Tirano! You have poisoned Yara! You have poisoned your soul! <laughs> Okay. I have caught a very big fish today. Haven't I, Diego? Diego! No way. <laughs> I have caught you, mijo. Now it's time to bring you home. I don't want this anymore, Papa. We have no choice. Let them go. They can work. Make vivido. Truth or lies? Truth. They could be good workers. They could help rebuild paradise. But if you wanted them to live, you would have never set foot on this fucking boat. Thirteen years old. And Diego has such compassion for his people. These fish? We will catch and release. Esposito makes such a good villain, it's crazy. Whether it's Gus or Anton. Absolutely great. I think we're fucked. <laughs> Oh god. How are we getting out of that? Whew. Okay, we don't know how that happened. We were sinking to the bottom of the ocean. But sure. Lita. Let's keep going. I can't feel my legs. Fuck. This is all my fault. My phone. Yeah, forget it, Lita. My phone. This is the beach, Danny. It's fucking fake. What? She's hiding here. Clara. Libertad. Julio. Fuck. Julio. It's all here. Take my phone. Follow the code like when we were kids. Stop it, Lita. Just wait. I'll find help. No. You give her this. Clara will help you. Don't you get it? You're the lucky one, Danny. Oof. You're the lucky one. This is hard to swallow. You lose your best friends in like 10 minutes. That's crazy. Time to get some revenge.
Very nice. Very nice beginning. I'm excited. Let's get this show on the road. Hmm. So many dead. Gone. What's that? I should look for supplies and get the fuck out of here. Do we have a machete? Never mind. Pistols empty. Guess I don't need a machete. Need find that gun. How the fuck is he still working? The markings must be the Colita was talking about. Okay. Need to get some ammo here. Oh. Blue armband. Must be Liberta. Okay. Anything in here? Nope. Oh. Who's shooting? Better stay quiet. This has to be the way. Oh. Finally found some. It's the stink of a traitor. All rotten on the inside. How did I know you were scavenging for Liberta? A small bit. That's why you died. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm just uh, walking by. I'm not the only one looking for Clara. Okay, let's see if I can sneak behind this guy. And here we go. Got him good. What's this? Could be useful. Get to Libertad. Steal a boat. Do I even fuck Ariara? Easy. And now I'm talking to myself. Whoa. Perfect. Oh, no. oh fuck. I guess I don't even need a map. I can just walk straight. Bad follow the road. Be a Been a while since I used one of these. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Get to the top here. Not a dozen one visitors. And pretty soon. We should be at the top of the mountain. I'm gonna show your face before you shoot me. Wow, nobody likes us. We're like the weird kid in school. Danny, a friend of Lita. Silencio. Huh? Oh. Okay. Can't you are see the any... only survivor? Yep. Answer me. I said, are you the only survivor? See, si. Lucky. Need to know the risks. That's all you have to say? You're here. That's what matters. Just a second, hermana. I'm getting the hell out of Yara. <laughs> but you're in my camp. I need a place to stay. A few days. Libertas no charity, hermano. Lita said you would help. Lita also said you weren't a pussy. Come mierda! You're an orphan, see? Funny how friends can be closer than family. Remember, Danny. Castillo has kept you an orphan. Why do you want to run? I watched Castillo order a whole boat of our people shot to death. Get as far away as you can from that psychopath. All of you. <laughs> <laughs> when tyranny is law, revolution is order. Quoting Bolivar won't save you. It's Pedro Albizu. Gonna save Yara with library cards? I have a list. Free elections, free expression, free the outcasts. A Yara free of Castillos. Simple. Simple? 
Castillo's got what? 300,000 troops? I count six burnt-out guerrillas and you with a bullet to the leg. You don't believe me? I'll show you. That is going to be a huge map. We launched an attack from our base to this island. It was a basic operation. Hit a Viviro tobacco plantation, snatch some fuel, and go home. But Castillo's forces were waiting. Got us down from 60 to 6. You need to get back to your base. Yes, but this island is surrounded by a blockade. We don't have boats, we don't have much gear. And we are not leaving until that Viviro plantation goes up in smoke. But we are guerrillas. We know this land inside out. You're already familiar with our guerrilla paths. They were built by the legends in 67. They're spread like a web across all of Yara. Now, they're ours. Guerrilla paths are good to ambush soldados or to hide if the army is on your back. They have caches that will help you survive. But all this is legit? This map is old as hell. Made for turistas. Yeah, it's out of date, but you got the regions, municipalities, and landmarks of Yara. You'll get used to it. Now I need to call in some favors with the locals to get us a boat, and you need to go find me Juan Cortez. Who? Someone who can make one guerrilla fight like a thousand. All right. You've piqued my curiosity, Far Cry. Let's do this. You know I'm not a guerrilla, right? You tell it to them. I'll give you food, a bed, even a goddamn boat to sail to the Yankees. But it's gonna cost you bullets and blood. You can shoot, so shoot. Settle in, and let me know when you want to pay your rent. And that's it for this first part of Far Cry 6. I'm loving the story so far. The plot's already, like getting me super curious to see how this whole thing is going to unravel. And I guess we're becoming a guerrilla soldier as well. So if you've enjoyed this first part of Far Cry 6, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.